now eat folks this won't be a big video because i've gotten here um and it's pitch black outside it's about half six at night um i would have gotten here earlier but traffic was a nightmare um i'm not gonna waffle i'll leave that till tomorrow because tonight's not gonna be much of a video i'm afraid um there's only food it's a luxury of having a van now um i've gotten a little camper van i've had it done out i cannot really show you it really to be fair because because the lighting right got it out carpeted out um that's there just to cover the windows i'll do something more permanent um as time goes by it's Cushion floor, insulated on the floor, carpeted, insulated walls, ceiling, door panels. Um, I have a 12 volt power um, socket there. I've got our two light switches. We've got two USB uh, charging ports and a 240 volt plug the leisure battery is behind there um underneath the passenger seat it's like storage space there so it sits in quite snug snug i should say uh yeah so i'm gonna have something to eat i don't know what because i'm literally spoiled for choice gonna have a couple of beers listen to radio because the footy's on I'm not really a footy fan, but I just, it's kind of ambience, you know. Right, um, I might bring you back and show you what I'm eating. We'll see. You'll have to hang around and uh, keep watching, won't you? I've just decided I'm going to help that bad boy. The spaghetti bolognese one was lovely. But if you are to eat these meals i've had a couple of them before um top tip put a sachet tomato sauce in like meals like this and bolognese's and that does not boost them up a little bit yeah 600 calories just what uh just what i need so i haven't had anything to eat for about four hours i'm pretty hungry yeah so i'll have that and show you what it's like when um it's cooked before definitely needs tomato sauce I'll eat it anyway, but not as good as the bolognese. I know, I know, you know, you look at it, we've been the top of the league, full time club, great new stadium and everything, but it'll be a great chance for me to really say what the, what the current squad's like, you know what I mean? Great like chance for it. We're going there to try to get a result, but you, yeah, without a doubt, you're not going to get any harder start than um. what we've got. In the Northern Premier League Premier Division, South Shields are away to Ashton United. Game for Trinity are the visitors to Craig Park as they take on Malta Town. In the East Division, Dunstan and Stain Bridlington are away to Cleethorpes. Meanwhile, in the Scottish Lone League, Berwick Rangers are away to Grenfell. Away from football, the Union's Premiership Newcastle Falcons face a trip to the capital as they take on London Irish tomorrow afternoon. The Falcons sit a point behind the Exiles heading into the, the game, and the forwards coach Mickey Ward is expecting a tough afternoon. Got a bit of a slow start at the start of the, the season. Trail. You know, they're not they're not falling most in the league, but in the last few weeks they've really they've really um, stepped up. Yeah. Uh, and I just say they're falling they're falling massively on the up after no one. I think anyone who looks at not the mega safety, not in a bad way though, just sort of not right pitcher, mega safety. Whereas the last couple of weeks have really, um, have really stepped up, and as you say, you've really been the last weekend and beaten Quinns. It's a big statement, so it's going to be a good challenge for them. I think a lot of people look at London 
Yeah, yeah. 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 As you say, they've got, they've got a lot of stars across the board. I think the last time we played them, I'm sure they had the most amount of international caps in a, in a league game, which is which is going up on the hill. Only, really. um, and so half the situation is way on. No time to cross. Not many people give well. Um, um, you know, give well like a lot of the time. Oh, well, so it's not probably should be sitting a bit higher than we are. Um, but no, to be honest, we're not, we're not that first world. Well, people think outside of this. We're coming to chill new van. If we perform well, we turn up and we do what we talk about. Even in a van and we give ourselves a good look back ourselves to give ourselves a chance. We don't really want to be the next guy. And I think we're at that stage now where if we do turn up and play the world building, then we'll be a handful against the Newcastle Falcons forwards coach Mickey Ward there will have full match commentary of London Irish. Next time I'll bring a steak off. Some chicken. I'll either have steak and mash. Hold up to that. We'll be on hand to guide you through the action just before we head back to the National Stadium. In the basketball Newcastle Eagles men's side or in BBL Championship action against the London Lions at the Eagles Community Arena. This evening tip-off was at 7.30. We're into the fourth quarter. The Eagles 72-69. Up to three points ahead. The women's side have the BBL Cup semi-final against the Leicester Riders. Tomorrow tip-off is at 7 p.m. Time for us to head back to the International Stadium for the second half. Commentary okay. of Gated versus Charlton, where the halftime score is Gated Blue dog. one. And we can rejoin our commentary of Colin White and Paul Dixon. It's happened before. Um, it's had them up here before as well on the last recorded wild camp. Marshmallow and Chocolate Stout. United we stand for better beer. Fiercely defiant and independent. No, fuck yeah. Um, have your cake and drink it. So you can have your cake and drink it with this way. And Jaden Stock, you're really and it's the opening goal of the game. Um, it's Gateshead and it'll draw on one. Mean little 7% volume uh, there. Oh, oh. Here we go. Welcome back to the International again. Stadium. Still no sign of either of our two I remember teams. thinking, oh. Uh, the two sets of substitutes still warming up uh, on I'm the pitch. I've only got a little bit left in this car. Well. I'm going to make a bold prediction and say that Gateshead aren't going to make any changes at half time. So I'm going to run you through the team. Uh, as it was in the first half, so Jacob Chapman in goal was Robbie Tinkler at right back, me. Alex Nicholson at left back, Louis Story and Mike Williams in the two centre halves. Um, Owen Bailey, Greg Ollie and Dan Ward, the three this. central midfielders as Charlton start to make their way out in front of us. Uh, with Kevin Scott all, uh, and Adam Campbell. No, uh, and fancy Colin IPs Lansdorf and that. Moved about a fair whatever bit cake front this three. Three. Uh, for your marshmallow or whatever. Head, first choice, first this one's on the, the most genuine. For the home side tonight, Jack Just Hunter, Paul like Blackett, Luke Williams, Connor Panny, Ryan well Lundwell, done, Brewdog. and Matty Jacob Charlton are just going through a tiny warm-up by the side of the pitch before they had, like, take their places away to our right-hand side for the second half. They don't look like they've made any changes get, like, uh, either because there are uh, 10 out of players like, in like that warm-up. So I can tell you that they've got Stephen Henderson in goal as he gets to emerge. Got 250 subs. Last time I looked. Um, I should at least get me one blue dog, shouldn't I? Nah, I'm not bothered. Pardon me, I'm just waffling. Blue dog's nice, bro. Yeah. Alright. On the bench for them, they've got their full complement of nine. So Craig McGillivray is their substitute goalkeeper. I apologise about the um, Morgan, Jonathan Lecko, backdrop of uh, the radio. Well, that was. If it comes well, that to then was. seeing the game out, oh, I was correct you. in my prediction that Gateshead no, have not finished the meal in the eye. And then both sides are lining up. Gateshead in goal. their traditional home kit. Black and white checks on the front, so white on the back, with black sleeves. Black shorts the song, and white right. socks now playing from left to right and playing towards some of their supporters away on the right hand side. And because this main stand absolutely full. And uh, Charlton in their traditional red as yeah. well. So they've got red shirts, Some white up. shorts and uh, red enough, socks. A referee well, no, is not a popular man, but he's called Tom Reeves. And uh, he is just about to get Draw us on the way in the second half. Gateshead nil. No. Charlton one. Adam Campbell takes the kick. Gateshead and they keep possession of the line. Tries to get in behind already. Adam Campbell determined to get there and put Famil under pressure. It's exactly what he does, and it's a throw in. Mill down the half. This near side, just five, six yards from the corner.
So yeah. These are like ambient lights <coughs> compared to the green ones. Nice little shade. There's the green. The demo would be aye, spot on. This is bright. Not too bright. Wait, aye, it is kind of bright, like, to be fair. It's good, though. But yeah, demo would be sweet. Hungry? freshly built one you know them boards where you put your face it through a hole and have your picture taken this is like one of those but several miles wide put your face through and you're at the seaside <laughs> oh there's a cardboard seagull <laughs> take a ball <laughs> what's this oh donkeys i love <laughs> sound of the van if you can hear the rain that's how quiet it is now with the soundproofing in awesome right a bit of canny little sleep in this it's definitely more comfortable than wild camping but they're both equally as fun this gives me a different option to camp i'm gonna it's like a mobile base camp Right, I'm gonna have a coffee um, and then uh, I didn't really need to pack up. Just getting the passenger uh, driver's seat and drive. Yeah. It's a good morning in Howard Forest. So there's my little stash underneath my bed. I'm gonna have a bowl of that with some uh, almond milk. Golden grams. Lovely then. But yeah, just a few um, snacks. There's some sundries. Plenty of hot chocolate, coffee, um, cappuccino, tea. Beefy drinks. Uh, I just, uh, just a few meals, a few MRE, a couple of MREs there, and uh, 
just a few staples like so if I want to just jaunt off quick just grab a couple of things and uh, I'm away cool what what coffee am I gonna have today I've got a selection of little mini coffees loads of little flavors caramel popcorn today mm -hmm. There you go, there's the covers off. Let's be running out of gas, it's getting low. Glassman. It's meant having a mobile place to chill. I don't know if you can hear them gunshots. It sounded like shotgun. Coming from that way, <coughs> um, the army training area is a couple of miles that way. So it must be uh, shotgun uh, shells going off. There's a couple of trees blocking the path down there of Storm Arwen. There was a sign coming into the forest saying um, no access beyond this point. But it's never stopped us. I'm not a log thief. I can't half notice the difference <clears throat> with that soundproofing on. It was bucketing down last night and um, it's just like a little pitter patter. Quite a relaxing sound to get the kip do, really. And I fell a kip straight away. <clears throat> it's more than warm. A little bit of a chill in the middle of the night, but that's just due to uh, the temperature going down and me not having any layers on underneath the sleeping bag, you know. But um, I wasn't cold. Next time I'll just wear my softies in the sleeping bag. During the winter anyway. No trace fuckers. Or else I'll be after you. Nah, when I <laughs> almond milk. Yep. Make some twigs. Take all you rubbish, people. Right guys, and gals, and whatevers, um, thanks for watching, yet again, this has been the first successful um, van camp, I've done one about three weeks ago and it was a total and utter fail, um, I will make a video for that, a brief video, just to hear all the best bits for all you guys that like uh, to watch people suffer, 
<laughs> um, nah, um, seriously, it's been a good night. Um, this place, this van now will give me a little base camp for my wild camp before I want to get into like better areas, whatever, um, wilder areas. I could either use that as a, a mobile bed or I could use it as a base camp to set off somewhere into the hills, you know, um, we'll see. It's just added an extra element to the outdoor enjoyment, you know. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Until the next time, watch this space. Nice one. Everything tidied up. No rubbish. There's my little, my little office. I'll just turn the lights on there. There we go. Mint there. What a comfortable sleep in that. There's my cooking like storage stuff. Um, a few other little items. I've got all my food. Tucks under here. Very nice. With lots more room to spare. It's probably gone in half half the width of the bed, so I could probably get another one and another one of them underneath there. And also another two up there if I wanted. So for a longer camp, um, I've got plenty of room for all the things I need. Come in. Up there. About hmm, about 100 meters, 200 meters up there. That was my um, car camp, uh, my uh, car wild camp fiasco. What happened? I got stuck at the top, so I had to reverse all the way down, and uh, I tried to do a three point turn about up there somewhere, and I ended up getting beached on the side of the um, side of the track there, and I got pulled out. Same thing happened to that, um, a little bit further into this forest, which I'll do a little video for, but <laughs> life on the edge, eh? <laughs> Mint, man. A little aboard, love it. If anyone's thinking about getting a van, get one. Don't think about it, just do it. If you can afford it. That wasn't that wasn't expensive. I got a good deal on that one, like part extra from the old micro that you've probably seen. Sad to see it go. I like that little thing, but you know. You do get attached to your vehicles, don't you? Class. Good morning. Let the dog have a little waz, because he hasn't had one yet. Right. And then get back into the warm van. Get yourself a piss, son. Little wild man. Comes out on most of my camps now, like, I just kind of get me one to look after him. Because he's a little piss artist. One of them dogs that just wheeze everywhere. I've tried training them, but now it works. I've got to keep on top of it. Dog for life, isn't it? I think might need a dump. Some sharp warm up when you get back in the van, wouldn't you, youngin? Yes. There we go. Might need a. Might need a poo. 
right, that's the that's the way out. I come up this way last night and um, just parked there, just off the road. So if anyone went up that main like track up there, they wouldn't see anything. You know what I mean? Because I'm just off the uh, thing there. So I'm, I had my lights on. There's nobody would have seen us. Because that way, it's, uh, it's like a dead end. And down there, it's blocked off by trees. And there, there's a fence at the end of it. But I can see there's been a few trees blown down and uh, blocked the path to that. Yeah. of doom where many a mishap happens <laughs> but this one has been a success I had a minor flat last night <coughs> where I locked myself out of the van without my shoes on squadging about in the mud um, the batteries had just run down a little bit low so I manually opened the um, passenger door on my key but oh my god for a split second for a split second I imagined um, having to smash the uh, door open just to get back into the van so I am mini flat but um, yeah all good I usually go up that way to get a bit deeper in, but yeah. Yeah, I got it. 